Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra three months free. Hey everyone and welcome to my in-depth guide of the new Maibatsu monstrosity in GTA Online. I'll be going over some of its stats, some cool tricks with it, as well as some situations where you can use this car. And before I begin, I once again want to thank my friend Ender for helping me record and test for this video. So the monstrosity will cost you about $1.5 million to purchase, or if you have GTA Plus, it will cost you no in-game currency. However, it also has an HSW upgrade as well as a money tech, so in the end, it'll be costing somewhere around 2.7 to 3 mil to max this out. Unfortunately, although it does have a lock-on jammer and the RC feature, it does not have armor plating that you can apply to increase its defenses. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have any defenses. It takes one RPG, three homing missiles, one sticky bomb, three explosive rounds, or two real gunshots to blow it up with a player inside, which is more than just your standard regular old car takes with one homing rocket. And as always with these vehicles, if there are no occupants inside, it's going to blow up in half that, which basically means it will take one less homing rocket or explosive round. However, it does have blow resistant windows just like some of the other mindset cars from the contract update, which won't really come in handy as much for the PvP side of things, but for PvE the enemies have a lot harder of a time breaking the windows to shoot you. You're also going to want to put on that back window plating option because this not only gives you increased traction like a spoiler according to Bruffy1322, but it also makes this vehicle completely bulletproof from the back. And the funny part is, you can still shoot behind you as a driver at people through the plating, but they can't shoot you through it. And I know many of you are probably wondering, Gilly, how are you able to use weapons from this vehicle? Because I can't on mine. Well, you need to go ahead and remove the interior option you have on. Just equip it to the stock one. Every other one disables the drive-by weapons for some reason. Not sure if that's intentional or not. I'm leaning more towards no. When you combine this vehicle's performance and its bullet-resistant properties, as well as the completely bulletproof back, you get a vehicle that is extremely useful for PvE content especially. You can back up into groups of enemies using your bulletproof back of the car to protect you from damage, kind of like this in Torno back in the day. And then you can zip out of there in an instant if you need to with the HSW upgrade. Against the armored Karuma in a performance test, it blows it away in both acceleration and top speed, which I guess no one was really surprised about. Sure, it might not be as protective as the armored Karuma because the windows can eventually break on it, but it can definitely work and the speed will help you out with efficiency in missions, whatever you're doing. Now against some of the more popular mindset cars for free mode, it it's not really going to compete in that aspect. Not only is it slower than some of the other ones that we've gotten recently, but it also just doesn't have the armor plating to back it up. So I can't recommend it for general free mode use in public lobbies. However, for PvE content specifically, I can absolutely recommend it. It probably won't replace the Karuma completely, but if you want a vehicle that you can sort of use just like the Karuma to dip in and out of a situation and fast, the Monstrosity gives you a nice option, and it's a vehicle that I have definitely loved using for PvE content over the past few days. This is also the first HSW off-road vehicle and is capable of beating the BF400 in a race. That's right, you might have a chance with this car in an off-road race where everyone likes to pick bikes instead of regular old cars. And it can also climb some pretty steep inclines because of its amazing grip. Look how I almost go vertically up Mount Chiliad here to the top. It's pretty incredible. Because the monstrosity does have a more boxy shape to it, it does tend to spin out more often from collisions. So that is one negative thing about this car. I don't know why they decided to just not give this vehicle armor plating. They could have easily just slapped on the door armor and called it a day like the rest of the Miantech vehicles. It just seems odd to me. It's like it's unfinished or something. Perhaps they thought it would have been too overpowered with it having all those perks in one vehicle, the HSW, a Monitech, armor plating, bullet resistant windows, and completely bulletproof back of the vehicle. Anyways, that is going to wrap up my in-depth guide of the monstrosity. I wouldn't go and use it for free mode PvP, but everything outside of that, I would definitely check this vehicle out. It's fun to drive and the AI have a really hard time hitting or even catching you in it. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or link this down in the description. And as always... Thanks for watching, and have a great day.